God bless him, Lord. God bless him. You know how it is when you walk into the store, you the first thing you see, you can be going for milk. But all of a sudden, a Twix or a Kit Kat or a Reese Cup or a Snicker calls your name before you can even get to the milk. That's a habit. Because watch this. Too much sweets will cause diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes not taken care of will make you lose a limb. Diabetes not taken care of may cause you to go blind. But because you got that habit of sweets, maybe your habit is shopping. Lord have mercy. You can't help yourself every time you turn around you in the mall. You, you just got $50 and then you are looking for a new house, looking for something else, looking to buy something else and the habit is so bad. Watch this, you will borrow money to go shopping. Know the gas bill coming, know the light bill coming, know the rent coming. And then you struggle with the fact of that habit or that addiction of shopping. And watch this just so you don't think it's me. Is some of y'all that got it so bad you still got tags on clothes you bought last year. Ain't never pulled them out, ain't never looked at them again. The last time you bought them was the last time you looked at them. And now you trying to figure out how in the world. You got purses that ain't never been bought out in the outside. You got be careful, be careful. shoes on top of shoes. They got dust on them. Still got the little paper in the inside. From put the that. Time you bought them. No, no. Put that shotgun up. You got pants that are just stacked real high. You got tags hanging all off of it. Because as soon as I can talk 
16. He gave a good greeting. He gave a good conversation in verses 1 and 2. Then he literally went to number 3 and he began to talk about God's rich blessings that he gives unto his children. That when we come to verse number 13, he begins to say stuff like, We were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. Now that word seal means guarantee. Or that word seal means security. Meaning the simple fact, I have something down on the inside of me that will protect me if I will allow it to work. That's the Bible I get so hard. I'm sorry, so tired of hearing people say, can you lose your salvation? No, you can't lose your salvation. Because the Bible says it is secured, it is guaranteed. You've got the Holy Spirit of promise. The moment you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are now locked in. Can't nobody pull you out. You can't lose it. It can't be taken away from you. The problem is you've been going to church instead of going to God.
I'll let you go ahead and watch them rounds. Amen. And help you wish you had to stay a little bit longer. Come on. Watch this. When you go through Ephesians, what you'll find out is chapter one deals with the privilege of a believer. Yes, sir. Yeah. Chapter two deals with the party of a believer. Right. Chapter three deals with the purity of a believer. Right. Chapter four deals, watch this, with the practice of a believer. Chapter five deals with the power of the believer. Uh -huh. And chapter six hits you with the persistence of a believer. Right. So what happens is the moment I get saved, I got to know that I have privileges, number one. Uh -huh. Then I can go to God and ask God to help me out. And while I'm asking him to help me out, it's a privilege for him to stop by and pull me out of my market mark. I don't need somebody to come help me because I got God. Come on. Woo! There he is. Secondly, as a believer, I found out that I'm part. Mm. A lot of people want to hold you to your past. Yes, sir. Not realizing that my past was yesterday and today I'm
Every day you get up, you got to get in his word. Every lunch break, you got to get in his word. Before you go to bed, you got to get in his word. Matter of fact, sometimes you got to go in between all of that sometimes and get in his word. But then, watch this, the power. Mm. You don't know how much power you got. Well, the Bible says, watch this, life and death is in the power of the tongue. The problem with most of us is we talk ourselves out of our own blessings. All right, let me hit the rewind button. <laughs> because we don't know that the words that come out of our mouth is life. Yes, they are. We use words that speak death yes, sir. when we're supposed to be speaking life in our situation. Because John 10 and 10 says, the thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. I come that you might have life and have it more abundant. If you're going to be talking negative about your situation, you're just as bad as Satan because you help Satan take you off the Come scene on. where God put you and God is saying, literally, I need for you to speak life. You say, you say stuff like this. All oh, that boy ain't going to never get together. He was stupid then and he's stupid oh. now. You say stuff like, I ain't going to never get no raise. I ain't never going to have nothing. You say stuff like, oh, why should I go buy for a house loan? I ain't going to get no house. Bump uh, all that. You need to learn how to start speaking life. I'm going down here to this big girl. I need you to get me there. And when you need me there, I need you to get me somebody. That's going to fill out these papers and make me look good. And that fact, Lord, I need for you to go out there to the realtor that I need to see. That I can find the house that I want. That when I get to the house, I ain't got to go through all that drama. And I'm just going to say, here you go. What's this? 
And he says to the kids, honor your father and your mother. Woo! That your days might be long. You want to know why our children are dying off at a rapid rate? You want to know why there's so much trouble in the school system? It's because we turn parenting over to the school system. And the school system don't care about your child. Right and 
and wrong. So now we have a generation of kids that if we're not careful, won't believe in God, but believe in them trying to do it all by themselves. And now we're wondering, how in the world do we get kids to stop shooting when we won't connect them to God? Come on. Yeah. 